Hi guys, how many times have you ever tried walking in the pedestrian lane and you don't bump into someone? Or you can easily tap the apps on your phone so naturally without looking at it and you can know where to click. Or when you are at the mall for example and once you got into the mall you park your car and then you realize that did I lock my car? And then you go back to the parking lot only to realize that you actually locked it. These are a few examples on how the subconscious mind works. And most of the times, we don't know that it's actually controlling us. This is the visual representation and how the subconscious mind looks like in our brains. Like an iceberg, we only notice the conscious side, but what is actually ruling our life is the subconscious mind, which is the unseen part of the iceberg, which is also the biggest part. And the first time I heard the subconscious mind, I heard it from my grandpa who teaches me Aikido. And he said that when you practice something every single day, even with just your imagination, you'll be able to put it subconsciously in your mind. Therefore, all our everyday habits, our childhood traumas, and beliefs are placed there. Like for example, I often wonder right now why I am so afraid of cockroaches. And I know for a fact that they are small and I have an advantage over them, but why do I get scared of them? Like I don't even have a memory of me as a child when I first got scared of a cockroach, but it may be perhaps that I was traumatized as a child, I don't know, but my fear of cockroaches would move me to run away every s single time I see a flying cockroach. And I'm not even afraid of beetles, grasshoppers, lizards, spiders, snakes, frogs, guys, but I run away every single time I see a flying cockroach. And same is true with the beliefs and habits. They are placed in your subconscious mind. And these two are what we are going to talk about in order to stay committed to our goals and make them non-negotiable. That means no matter what, we are going to achieve our goals. Now to stay committed to our goals, whether or not you are going to start a healthy routine, start exercising, start a new project, start a business, you need to challenge your beliefs because we all have beliefs that protect us first and those Second, that makes us grow. Beliefs that protect us are what other people call negative beliefs. Like for example, these are times when you are starting out to present, having an oral presentation in your class, and then you want to back out. Your beliefs are trying to protect you from embarrassing yourself. But these protective beliefs are not necessarily bad. They have their use also. But if you want to grow as a person, we need to challenge these beliefs that have helped us before but are not helping us right now to become the person that we are going to be in the future. To help with that, I have an activity that would challenge our protective beliefs. All you need to do is get a pen and paper right now. Okay, at this instant, guys, I want you to get your pen and paper. And please do the activity with me. I want you to draw a line like this. Okay, separate two columns. On the first one, you will need to put down their protective beliefs. And on the second one is growth beliefs. And on top of that, you will indicate what aspect in your life that you want to change or challenge. It could be in the aspect of health, your career, your finances, your relationships. Okay, so for example, for relationships, your belief may be perhaps, I don't deserve love in my life, I know people will hurt me, and on the right side, you can put down there, I deserve all the love in the world. People may hurt me many times, but People are people. They have issues on their own, but it doesn't mean I will not open myself to love and forgiveness. Or you can put there, like for example, I will remain single forever. This is my destiny. There are no good men or women around anymore. On the right side, you will put, I know I will find the right one for me. There are lots of kind, loving people out there. I know in time, in God's time, he or she will come and I just need to work on myself first. And even if you don't believe in the beliefs you put yet, remember, 
your words have power so write all the growth beliefs that you have even if you don't believe it so i'll give you two minutes to do this exercise and you can pause this video if you need more time Hi, once again, now I'll be giving you the second activity which relates to habits. So the thing about habits, changing your habits, is you need to start making small action steps, which I would like to call micro wins. And when you do it every single day, it will form a habit. That's why guys, even right now, because I know already the power of habits, the weight of habits in my life, I don't take the small things very lightly anymore. I know that every action I take will snowball and create something big someday. So for example, if I eat candy now, even just a tiny bit of candy, and then I will eat candy tomorrow and tomorrow again and next day and next day, it will become a habit for me to crave for sweets. So as much as possible, I don't want to consume any candy right now. So let's take the time to think about what big goal that you want to have, like for example, not eating sugary food, write it on paper. And then below that, write down your action steps or micro wins in a week, like starting right now, okay, on this day, like for example, you can put down there your action steps would be week one, eat three fourths of a cupcake only, week two, one half of a cupcake only or week three eat one bite of a cupcake and make sure guys that your action steps is micro wins because if your micro wins is too big most likely your brain can't handle it yet okay if your micro wins is not eat sugar for a whole month then it will be too big for your subconscious mind to handle and you will give up on that big goal of not eating sugary sweets so write it on paper and start working and be committed to your goals. I'll give you one minute to write these micro wins down.
Are you done? Okay, so thank you so much for being here today. I hope you stay committed to your goals. And if this video helped you, please do subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you can be updated with more videos. And please do share this video to your friends who needs it, who wants to change and be committed to their goals also. This has been Kirjan, nice to meet ya. Bye bye guys, see you soon. God bless you. So